This is an App VIP's Mini Review. Well, welcome everyone to this episode of At The Eyepiece. We are going to be doing a mini review of the NexYZ 3-axis universal smartphone adapter by Celestron. So the unique aspect of this uh, cell phone adapter is, well, the 3-axis. We're going to get more into that as we unbox, as we show you how to hook, connect it up. But basically, this device permits you to connect it to, as the indication here, binoculars, which we also will test if you have a um, spotting scope. And of course, if you have a normal astronomical telescope, it also fits one and a quarter and two inch eyepieces. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing for the NexYZ 3-axis smartphone adapter by Celestron. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So see what we have in this package here. It's quite a large box. I, I wasn't actually expecting it to be so large, but let's see what we have here. Very good packing. Oh, there's, wow, yeah, there it is. So let's take, uh, it's all put together. That looks good. In the box is your, looks like some instructions as well as this looks to be like uh, some adapters probably to connect this up to a microscope because you can also somewhere on the there it is on the other side image here you can also connect this up with a microscope so that's pretty pretty cool so let's go ahead and look at this wow this is larger than i thought but the engineering just from looking at this thing is impressive let's uh wow yes yes indeed this is quite an impressive piece of hardware really okay it's a lot of it's plastic but this this backing is rubber so that's good it's not going to scratch um your phone as you put it in here so this is the ah this is a spring-loaded clamp you do have some adjustment level here uh, right here so that you can either uh, increase or decrease that's to accommodate you know your inch and a quarter or two inch eyepieces no doubt uh, your cell phone fits right ah this is spring loaded okay so this is nice that seems like that will hold and of course it has a bottom ridge here to securely keep your camera in place but let's get to the real deal here and on the back here Wow, they, they really did engineer this. This is a really nice piece of equipment here. So here is the axis adjustments. You have one axis of adjustment. You can see this is moving up and down. Okay, so your camera's moving up and down. Your other knob here, if you can see here, this is moving the phone either left or right. And it's three axis, so this one here, ah, this is controlling. I'll go ahead and move it this, there you go. So there's the guide there. So this is controlling the distance from the camera to the eyepiece. Very, very nice. I mean, this is a real good piece, and uh, I can't wait to go ahead and get it out there and and see what we got it's really nice that it's all put together i thought maybe i might have to put some some pieces together but it's great that uh it's all one piece and a very impressive piece they really did some good engineering on this i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised now one thing however i am a bit concerned about is you know there's a lot of weight here on this this is going to attach to your eyepiece there's going to be a lot of weight over here, so it's going to be interesting to see how this clamp holds, you know, your phone on this end to your your eyepiece or even your, your microscope, um, which I don't have the ability to test that, but I do have the ability to go ahead and test a pair of binoculars. So that's pretty much it from the unboxing of the next image. Of course, it does come with some instructions uh let's go ahead and make sure yes for microscopes i guess correctly the, these adapters are, are for the different size microscopes that you might run into all right very good let's go ahead next and see how this performs at the eyepiece
Okay, so you can see the I have the uh, phone now in the adapter. Now my phone is an LG Stylo 3, so it's a pretty large form factor phone. I would recommend you remove any case that you have for the phone just so that you can get as best a fit on this. As I was saying initially inside, it's going to be a lot of weight on the eyepiece when you have your phone on here, depending upon, of course, how you're hanging it off the eyepiece, that is. So that's one factor I would recommend you, uh, you doing. Now, as you can see here, you can adjust the spacing very, very easy here. And of course, this is your other axis up, down, left, and right. So very good fine adjustments here on this. So let's go ahead and see how it performs on a pair of binoculars. Okay, so I have a pair of uh, my 10 by 42 binoculars. And uh, let's see how well it does bringing uh, Buddy there into the field of view. So let's go ahead and try to get our setup here. And I think what I'll do is I'll connect it to this side first, just so that we can get an idea. Now it's pretty bright today. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we've increased the brightness of the phone. Now right off the bat, I will tell you, there's a lot, this is not gripping very firmly onto the eyepiece yet of the Monocular. All right, now this is an edited portion of the initial review here. Initially, I thought that this dial here was simply to permit the um, clamp to be expanded for larger eyepieces and that the purpose was to slip it over and that the spring would go ahead and create the tension on the clamp. No, no, no. Actually, this is yes, to go ahead and permit you to get the clamp over larger eyepieces and such. However, the purpose too is to go ahead and tighten the clamp down around the eyepieces themselves. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. I have it on there now, and you were having me talk about how it's loose, but all you have to do is actually tighten the clamp down now and it is a little bit difficult to get in there and do that and look at that no movement whatsoever good to go really good design from Celestra now I will say in a real world environment on how I used this very clamp last night for outreach I will point out one thing this works great if you're going to leave the camera on your binoculars or on your telescope. I primarily got this for outreach, and my initial plan was to go ahead and take this on and off the eyepiece very frequently because I wanted people to use their own camera here to get the snapshots, but I didn't want it, of course, to interfere with having them use the eyepiece either now yes you could leave it on the eyepiece but it's you know it's large it's unwieldy on there so i prefer to take it on and off so what i had worked up originally actually in my circumstance does work pretty well for what i want to do and that is be able to take this on and off frequently getting the screw is great uh, tighten down is is great for locking it in place no doubt about that but for when I wanted to go ahead and use it to do outreach and frequently take this on and off the rubber band actually worked out to be honest a little bit better for me in my circumstance so I wanted to leave this part in here at least this way if you are going to have a use for this the same way that I had actually having a rubber band here works really well because it does permit the grip to be uh, on the eyepiece very very tightly but does permit you to quickly take it off and quickly put it on much faster than it would have been for just tightening down this bolt which can again be kind of difficult to get to uh, on the telescope side so that 
is one workaround for you if you are going to be taking this on and off frequently as I do with Outreach. But man, it works great if you are going to put it on here and tighten it down and essentially be using your phone as its intended purpose right there at the eyepiece for yourself. Now, of course, you can go ahead and take that on and off as frequently as you can. Works wonderful. So I really now like the design of the Celestron Next YZ. So let's get on to the next part of see if we can get some good test shots through the binoculars and I'll let you look over my shoulder here I got my dog over there a ways okay so I mean that does work really aligning it's very simple so from that standpoint works pretty well I think that's a good verification let's go ahead and test it at the eyepiece now on a telescope okay well, at the eyepiece of the telescope, it worked really, really well. Look at how well that is parallel to the eyepiece. I was a little concerned that the eyepiece was too small. So this really does work quite well. I really am looking forward to utilizing it uh, for outreach. Now, of course, I don't know you can't, might not be able to see that too well, being that it's so bright out here, but uh, say cheese. Smile. There we go. I just took a snapshot through the telescope of the dog that is way over there. I'll zoom in. Okay, buddy. Good boy. Way over there. So we can go ahead now and see the type of uh, image that it gathered. Now, of course, the image quality is going to be dependent upon your phone. One of the drawbacks on my phone, the LG Stylo, is I don't have any way to manually adjust the exposure. So you will see during um, tonight, um, or actually last night, when I was testing this at the eyepiece of the scopes, I was actually doing it last night. So this is really going to be a great piece of equipment, I think for uh, outreach and just taking quick snapshots overall.